guys and you're welcome to my channel today i want to teach you how you can make a peplum belt a two layer and you can use the same method to make a three layer belt you can wear it over anything and i'm wearing mine over a short dress and you can see how it completely changes the whole look so i hope you like this video and don't forget to like subscribe and share Hi guys, so we are making our peplum belt and basically what we need is a fabric. Um, if you're making a two layer peplum belt, you're going to need about two yards. If you're making a three layer peplum belt, you're going to need about two and a half to three yards. So, um, well, you won't finish three yards, but it's just always better to have a little extra. Just so, you know, that's if you're within like size 10 to 16 you know but yeah if you're bigger the bigger you are the more fabric you're gonna need so we need the fabric and we need the scissors tape measure tailor's chalk and we also need the lining so the lining that i'm going to be using for this will be this it should usually be the same color and then you don't want to use cheap lining you want to use something that is a um, good quality because it's going to be obvious you know it's going to be right under your main fabric so it's going to be obvious people are going to say so you want to use something nice now in this case uh, i am using raw silk most times that's what i use nice raw silk the same color to match it so even if it shows it's still fine so you need lining and very very importantly you also need to stay now talking about stay, the type of stay you need is this. Now it's a paper stay, it's made of paper and it's the hard one. The other, the stay you use, the more structured your peplum is going to be. So that usually will determine um, the type of um, paper stay you're going to use. But you should use the medium to hard, you know. You should use the medium to hard one. So basically that's what you need. Unless I forget, you need another scissors to cut your stay, which is going to be your paper paper scissors because you cannot use your regular scissors to cut your to cut your stay so i'm going to put these things away and we're going to start right with cutting the main fabric and this is our main fabric i've got you know um more than what we need so we're going to have excess now i need to tell you again that all fabrics that i use in all my videos are from our fabric store at fabrics by Tolumi on instagram you may want to check us out so we are cutting our beautiful beautiful fabric now we're going to start with the longest layer we usually i usually like to start with the longest layer now measurements that you need for this are quite very simple you need your waist measurement and you need to know the length of your peplum the length of your peplum basically depends on you how tall you are and stuff a guideline to the length of your peplum will be the length of your regular blouse plus an extra one to two inches that should be the average length of your peplum so in this case um I am going to be using 7 inches for the length of the peplum, which is the longest part. When I say the peplum, I mean the longest length of the peplum. So it's about 7 inches that we're using for the longest length. So um, we're going to need 7 inches plus um, half of an inch on the lower part for the sewing allowance and another half on the upper part, So which is a total of 8 inches. Now watch how I cut. Now, when we are cutting the peplum, we are cutting as a circle cut. We will be cutting a circle cut. And I need you to know that there are different types of circle that you can have. You can have a full circle, you can have um, a 180, you can have a 270. In this case, we are doing a 360, which is the full circle. It's just one full circle, that's what we're doing. And then I am going to be folding now. So now this is the total width of my Ankara, which is like this. This is the width of my Ankara. This is one end and then this is another end of my Ankara. So what I'm going to do is just fold over like this along the length. Remember, like I always say, if your fabric is wrinkled, you may just want to iron before you start cutting. It's always best to do that before you start a cut. So um, I fold it into this way. We want to cut our full circle. And then now I'm going to fold into another two. It's just like I'm folding in another two this way. So I'm just folding over this way. So you see, I first folded along the length and then I folded along the width. So um, yeah, this is what I have. Now remember, um, 
I mentioned that we need the waist measurement. The waist measurement that we're working with in this case is 34 inches. Now, because we are folded into four, we are going to be dividing by four. But before we divide, we need to remember also that we need some sewing allowance on either side when we open up. So we're going to add an extra two inches for sewing allowance, you know, um, and that's going to be 36. So we have a total of 36 for the width. Now we divide it 36 by 4, it gives us 9, which means the, the circumference um, that we need for each part, you know, before we, um, after dividing by 4, is going to be 9 inches. So we are going to try to find a circumference this way to get our 9 inches. I have made a previous video on um, doing a circle court. Um, yeah before now i've done a previous video so um you may want to watch that as well you know it can give you a clearer idea if you don't really understand this particular video but i hope you understand because i'm trying to make it as simple and as easy for you to understand as possible all right so um we're gonna need nine inches here now how do we get this nine inches the easiest and simplest way just to do a random one so what do i mean a random one what i do is that I mark my 8 inches which I need for the length of my peplum from the bottom. What I have is 8. You're going to pardon me. The only chalk I can find is the same color as the fabric. So I'm probably going to have to use a pen. It's on the wrong side so it's okay. I really want you to see my markings. Okay so this is 8 inches and then I'm just going to do like a random 5. Now this tells me that I may have folded too much. So this is my random 5. I'm going to move this up. It is just a random five I need to say again. So this is um, five. And then I'm going to do five on this side as well. I'll do five on this side, on this side as well. Five here. I put my tape measure in this corner here. Mark another five. I do the same. Just move it again. Mark another five. Do it again. Mark another five yes so you will note that the shape that we have will be like a cone so it's not straight it's just going to be curved so i'm going to join everything together and then measure what we have so if i measure what we have what we have is like exactly nine inches and um it's just like nine inches on one quarter like i said it's just random i didn't know that i just tried it and we have nine one quarter now if what you have is um i think it's actually exactly nine let's um do the measurements again exactly nine inches now if what you've got is um more than what you need for instance if we needed nine inches and uh, when we measured this we had 10 what we're going to do is take it up just draw another random line measure it again till you have nine if it's less then you come down so um we have about nine inches so um now i can progress to measure it all around so i'm going to measure it this way measure it this way measure it this way measure it this way it's this way it's this way then i will join all the lines together and cut along that line but you will notice that if i go ahead and do like this all the space from air to air that i've measured is going to be a waste so instead of doing that i am just going to refold what I have done is refolded just so that I don't waste anything and what I have done is from ear to ear is now exactly 13 same thing from ear to ear is 13 knowing that what I need for my length is just 8 inches and what I need for my circumference from the top of the cone ear is 5 inches um 
that's it for the lower part and now I'm going to cut the upper part but I am not just going to cut the upper part on this exact line that we have marked I'm going to move up by half of an inch because if I cut on the same line by the time we do the sewing it's going to be wider so I'm just going to move up by half inch and I cut right there yes so this is ready now before I open it up I'm going to notch it on the sides we are also going to need to open up one of these parts. I have opened up one part and then I have notched here. So if I open it up, you can still see the notch, which kind of shows us it's the center. And then when you open up everything, this is what you have. A full circle so the next one is just going to be a bit shorter so um, I'm going to just make a difference to be about two and a half inches so if this is eight inches which is what we have done the other one is going to be six and a half now this is the first one that we have cut and you can see the way it is it's a full circle you can see the like um round shape right in between so when you cut yours I expect it to look exactly like this you know yours can be longer and all now we are just going to use this to cut the second down layer so what we're just going to do is that we're just going to be placing this on the second one so this folded now it's folded good and nice I'm just going to take this I'm just going to take this fold this into four again and then place it here because um, the floor has to be the same the top has to be the same so I always always prefer to cut both together so I just put it in and then I am just going to cut the circumference out of this circumference done and then I can take this out and all I just need to measure is the six and a half that I need here So you see, this is all cut and all set. Now, it is very important that you cut your lining exactly the same way your lining needs to be exactly like this and your stain needs to be exactly like this. So um, you will see that we have cut, um, this is the longest piece, we cut lining to be exactly the same with it and then we've cut the stay as well, the paper stay. And we've done the same thing to the second layer, the fabric, the lining and um, the stay. Now it's very important you make the stay and the lining and every other thing to be exactly the same. It has to be exactly the same. So we're done with the two layers and what I'm going to do is that um, if you look at the stay there are two sides there is one side that's plain and there is one side that's kind of shining that's the part that's got the glue and we're going to place the part that's, that's got the glue on the wrong side of the fabric and then you place the iron right on it and it's just going to glue together just like magic so I am going to be doing that and um, I'll do that for both both pieces and then we are going to be sewing but before we go ahead to sewing there is something else that is important I need to mention because it's a detachable peplum we need to cut a band and then um, to cut the band what I need to cut the band is just a long strip you know and um, what determines the width and the length we use for the long strip is the waist of um, the person that we are making the detachable peplum for and um, the height of the band as well so I'll say I always like to stick to the height of the band being between one and a half and two inches so we are going to be using about two inches for the height of this band so we need two inches now because it's two inches and we need to double it so um, our band is going to be looking like this something close to this so it's going to be double which makes it four we're going to have half inch on the M to join to the peplum so two and a half 
multiplied by two because it's going to be folded so we're going to need five for the height of the band in total before sewing and um, for the width of the band the waist measurement of this person is 34 the band needs to overlap for us to put the hook and all at the back so i'm just going to add an extra three inches which makes everything to 37 so it means that we need 37 by five inches for the band so this is the piece that is going to be the band and it's a long length of 37 inches by a height of five inches we're going to be folding and then it's going to look something like something like this and we'll still join in so when we get to the sewing part which i'm definitely definitely going to show you you're going to understand more and see um and see this better and um that's the end of this cutting process. I'm just going to go put the stay on the fabric with the iron. Remember, you put it on the wrong side of the fabric with the iron. And do not put the iron on the shiny part. You need to put the iron on this part. You know, this shiny part will be on the wrong side of the fabric. And then you just place the iron right on the side. So I'm, going to, I'm just going to go do that. And then I'll see you in the next video, which will be the sewing video. Don't forget to like this video, share, and subscribe if you have not done so already. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you, thank you, thank you.